Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, timing is everything. It's a good thing my guy Mike put my snow tires on today because it is snowing all over oh. the region tonight. Especially yeah. in Burlington, Brattleboro, all those spots actually. Yeah. In our parking lot, our parking right behind us, right that's there. a live look. Wow, are you gonna, who's going to clean your car off? Who, me? Yeah. I thought you were going to. Yeah. You're the weather guy. Maybe I'll have time. Hey, it's a real mess out there. Yeah, northern and New York, right? In northern New York has icing that's going on. The visibility is always a way to see where the snow is falling because obviously the snowflakes are bigger and they kind of make it hard to see. So it makes sense. Now, Saranac Lake has icing ongoing, so not a huge problem with visibility there. It's slippery. But look at Vermont. Rutland, at least at the airport, maybe not Merchants Row, but at the airport, 0.75, Brattleboro, Springfield. This is a heavier snow, both in terms of wetness and how quickly it's coming down. That's why the interstate is closed in the Brattleboro area, a significant chunk of 91 North. And sounds like uh, people have been on it for a while. So we're following that situation. We've got the snow for most of Vermont and then on the western side of Lake Champlain through the Seaway Valley, it's more so icing. Rain, freezing rain and sleet in the green and pink color, perhaps even some of the blue color. That's always an estimate. But as we go down south a little bit, we've got snow here. Uh, through the Mad River Valley into southern Vermont, especially Essex County. We always thought that would be the core of the accumulation, so it wouldn't surprise me. Four to eight inches in the Scroon Lake area. Southern Vermont, we're over to rain in Bennington, upper 30s, but the snow still falling where that multi-vehicle crash was reported in the Interstate 91 area there on the highway. A lot of moisture with this system, but we're starting to see the back edge, which comes through after sunrise in the morning. So you can see why we've got such an issue there in the Connecticut River Valley, a very snow caked Main Street in downtown Brattleboro, 32 degrees. And then as we come north a little bit, we don't really have much of an issue on Merchants Row and Rutland and the visibility is good downtown. Again, the airport's somewhat removed. Temperatures are close to freezing too much, uh, too close to really have comfort about driving around tonight. You got to be careful. Even if it's not snowing, it could be an icy road that we're dealing with. We do have some gusts to 40 miles an hour. You'll see here as we get to about eight o'clock in the morning, a lot of us see in rain showers at that point, the switch has occurred, but there's still a pocket of snow from northern Vermont into central Vermont there at eight o'clock in the morning ending and just leaving us with clouds for the afternoon. So a storm total accumulation of four to eight inches south of Lake Placid, southern Essex County, and then uh, two, maybe three inches of snow for parts of the Champlain Valley. But a number of eight inch reports are likely to come in from the northern mountains. I mean, just some of that is simple math. It's only 1117 at night. And in many of these spots, it's going to snow for a good six, seven more hours. A little bit of a glaze of ice on top as well. Here comes the 10 day forecast. Thanksgiving clouds 42 brighter on Friday, cold 30 degrees is the high. So we'll be in the 20s for the tree lighting sunshine on Saturday. That's nice for the World Cup at Killington. And by Sunday, well, we're back closer to 40. Brian Ellis.